I swear. So, so today's video, I, I just want to tell you a, a story. It's been a few years ago. Um, we lived in a small town in Utah. I'm not going to tell you where it is or, or, you know, the address of the house or anything because, you know, some people want to go ghost hunting at, at people's houses and that's just not fair, but. But we lived in this house. We 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 just moved into this house um, in this small town in in southern Utah, and it had been uh, it had been a doctor's office. It had been a doctor's office, um, like right around nineteen hundred, between nineteen hundred nineteen ten, um, I believe. But any anyway, we we rented this house and we're moving in. And we'd literally only been there. I mean, like we weren't even done unloading the truck, right? And uh, and the kitchen is kind of in the front part of the house, and and the porch, the door goes into the kitchen, and then one into a you know a separate sitting room. And anyway, we're all sitting around the kitchen table that we'd unloaded, and we're kind of taking a break. And and there's a knock on a door, and uh, we walked over. I walked over and I opened the door. And this lady standing there, and she didn't even say hello or or uh, or hi or my name is. The first thing out of her mouth was, "This house is haunted." And I I looked at her and I was like, uh, "Okay." And uh, and then she told me who she was and where she lived, and and that her grandmother had lived there when she was a child, and that she would come over and visit. And while they were there visiting, you know, they would play with other children. And uh, and then, you know, years later, she, she told her grandmother's story, and her grandma was like, "No, you 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 don't remember, right? There's never there was never any children here, other than you, you know, you and your brother or you and your sister, whatever the situation was." And and it kind of freaked her out, but but anyway, you know. Um, we were like, <laughs> all right, that was strange. Well, anyway, the story, um, goes on and it was not a lot later. And, uh, my wife and I had gone to bed, you know, and, and it was probably a couple weeks maybe after we moved in, we'd gone to bed and it was probably, I don't know, 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. Not, not super late, but the kids were all in bed. And uh, we're laying in bed. Had just just finished talking and, and had, you know, rolled over to go to sleep. And I hear this, Mommy, outside the bedroom door. And I thought it was my youngest daughter, Trisha. And, and I, I shook my wife. I was like, Honey. Trish is up. She's outside the door. And my wife's like, come in, sweetheart. And the door didn't open or close. There was, you know, no noise to indicate that. And it was instant. There was a little girl standing next to the bed on her side. And she goes, Mommy, I'm scared. We'd never seen this girl before. She was wearing... Um, a nightgown that would indicate much, much earlier time. And uh, my wife didn't even miss a beat. I, I'm, I couldn't even speak. I, it freaked me out pretty good. My wife didn't even miss a beat. She's like, oh, it's probably a, a, a nightmare, sweetheart. Go back to bed. And just as quickly as she appeared, this little girl disappeared and was gone. And of course, now my wife and I are like, holy shit. I can't believe that just happened. And then, you know, of course, after that, then, then you don't sleep at all. So, um, anyway, that house, uh, there were, there were full bodied apparitions on a regular basis. I'd love to tell you where that house was, but you'd probably try to go find it. 
was another time my son, who's the behind the camera right at the moment, um, I told him to mow the lawn when he got home from school. Do you remember this? Anyway, so I told him to mow the lawn, said, we got a pool table in the basement. He's like, oh, I'm going to play pool when we get home. I'm like, you're not going to play pool or video games until after the lawn is mowed. And I get home from work, um, and I'm walking across the lawn, and it is not <laughs> mowed. And uh, the window, you know, into the basement doesn't have a covering over it. So I can see into the pool table, and I, I, as I walk past the window, um, there's my son down there playing pool. Or I thought it was my son, anyway. So I am mad, and I go in there, and I'm yelling, JJ, where are you? And I go in the basement, and I'm looking for him. I couldn't find him. And, and now I'm really mad, because I think he's hiding from me. And... Uh, and I walked, I searched that whole house under the beds, in the closets, you know, um, the attic, everything. And, and I couldn't find him. And, and now that he's hiding from me, now I'm, I'm even more angry. And, uh, and I come upstairs and, and he's in the mud room in the back room and I grabbed a hold of him and I'm like, I told you not to. And he's like, what are you talking about? I just got home. So when I got home, there was nobody home. He still had his backpack on from coming home from school and his sisters were right behind him and confirmed that he had just walked home from school. And so I almost beat my son for not mowing the lawn before he played pool because I thought I saw him in the basement. This, this. Anyway. It was kind of a freaky place to live. There was a lot of that. It's in Hurricane, Utah, off of Main Street. Oh, I thought you didn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the house.